Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and play games found on the Ubisoft Connect Store on Linux. Or more specifically, the video is going to cover how to play games bought directly through the Ubisoft Store, rather than if you bought it through a third party service such as Steam. For this particular purpose, we're going to be using a piece of software called Lutris, which is a universal game launcher that will allow you to install and launch the Ubisoft Connect client. However, before we go any further, I'm going to take the assumption that you've fully updated your system as well as installed the latest supported GPU drivers for your particular hardware. Now, if you're unsure how to do that, there is a great reference point on Lutris Wiki, specifically the installing drivers page, as that covers the installation of the latest driver for both Nvidia and AMD hardware on either Ubuntu, Arch or Fedora based distributions. But in either case, once you've followed the relevant sections for your particular system, then make sure to reboot to finish the process. So next we need to install the WAN compatibility layer as this is the dependency for running Lutris. And the absolute easiest way to do this is to install WAN globally using your distribution package manager. Now once again, if you're unsure how to do this, then it is well documented on the Lutris wiki, specifically on the WAN dependencies page. And once again, we'll cover the installation method for Ubuntu, Arch and Fedora based distributions. So all you need to do is follow the setup guide for your particular installation and once you finish that, we can finally move on to installing Lutris itself. Now Lutris can be installed on virtually any Linux distribution, but the installation process will vary depending on your setup. For example, if you're using a Ubuntu based distribution, then you'll typically install Lutris using the dev installation package. Whilst if you're using an Arch based system, then you typically install Lutris using some terminal commands. In short, you want to choose the method that relates best to your Linux distribution, and once the process is finished, then launch Lutris as you would normally from your application launcher. So now with Lutris installed and launched, it's finally time to install the Ubisoft Connect client. However, there's a couple of things you want to do beforehand. First, you want to click on the option down here on the left hand side where it says Wine, and click on the sub menu here, which looks a bit like a clipboard. This will load up the Wine version management page. And you also want to make sure that you're running the absolute latest build of Lutus GE Proton. The reason for doing this is that the Ubisoft Connect client is constantly updated and it has a tendency to not launch after an update has been applied. In other words, in the future, if you find that the application has stopped launching, then often just updating the version of Lutus GE Proton will fix the problem. So, to install at Ubisoft Connect, you want to click on the plus symbol at the top. Choose the option here where it says set the Lutris website for installers and then type the word Ubisoft. You should only get one option, in this case it just says Ubisoft Connect, so I'll click on it. And you want to choose the option here where it says latest, so we'll click it install. Now this page just shows you where you want to install the actual application, I don't, but just leave it as default, click continue. And it's going to tell you where it's going to download the installer from. So once again just click it install on this. Now, as part of the installation process, you may get a prompt to install what's known as Wine Mono. So if you do that, just click yes whenever it prompts you. The installation shouldn't take too long to finish the process. After a short while, the installation will have finished. So make sure that you click the close button on here because we're going to do some fair little tweaks. So next you want to right click on the Ubisoft Connect, go to configure and under runner options, make sure to toggle off both eSync as well as F-Sync. Once you've done that, click save. Now the reason we're doing this is that on the first launch the application will try to update and if you don't disable these parameters then it effectively gets stuck indefinitely on the patching process. Now unfortunately every time there is an update to be installed you will need to just repeat this process. Either way let's launch the application now so you can right click on it and go to play or alternatively just press play at the button or also you can just double click it. So this is the section where it tries to update and if you didn't disable eSync or FSync it would get stuck on this bit. It will automatically restart itself and in a short while what you'll see is the login window as you normally would do. Okay, so it's just restart itself and here's the login screen. I'm just going to quickly type in my details. Okay, so I've just signed some account, I'm just going to maximize that. Now from here you can go into the settings and you can customize it as well as you want. I tend to untick the one here where it says minimize it and also I don't like the uh, overlay. In either case, once you're happy with that, close it down as you normally would do. And next we're just going to revert the settings we just made. So if we go to configure again, go to runner options, and we'll both enable eSync and FSync again. Click save. And really at this point, we're all set up. So once again, let's just launch it. 
Okay, so from this point, it's really just a matter of clicking on the games you want to install, download them as normal, and then once the process is finished, just click the play button. And that's it. Simple as that, all done. So in conclusion, Ubisoft Connect is one of the more annoying third-party launches, as I've always found that whenever there's an update, yeah, it breaks everything. However, with several Ubisoft games being supported on the Steam Deck, a solution is usually quickly found and then ported across so that it wears with Lutris as well. As always, thank you very much for watching this video guys, and if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and if you like what I do, click that subscribe button to check out more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now!